Hello, and welcome to the Checkpoint Compliant Software Blade demonstration series. Today we will show you how you can align security and compliance with Checkpoint security best practices. At the heart of the Compliant Software Blade is a library of best practices mapped to thousands of individual regulatory requirements. These best practices are constantly assessing your Checkpoint gateways and network security software blades and providing you with clear recommendations on how to optimize your security status and improve compliance. Let's take a closer look at the Compliance Software Blade to see how the Best Practices widget works. From the overview screen in the top left corner, you see the Best Practices Compliance widget. This provides you with the total number of best practices that are being monitored and the distribution by effectiveness. To obtain more detailed information, you can click on the More Details link in the Best Practices Compliance widget, or you can simply click on the Best Practices link in the menu on the left for a list of all best practices. The Best Practices window is divided into two panes. The top pane is a list of best practices which can be filtered or sorted by different parameters, as well as be exported to an Excel file. The bottom part of the screen shows detailed information regarding the selected best practice, such as scoring and linked regulatory requirements. Let's look at the details in the top pane. In the name field, we actually tell you what is being monitored and checked. On the left, you can see the name of the software blade that the check is running on, and on the right, the compliance status. Checkpoint enables users to exclude an individual best practice if an organization has certain constraints or requirements that prevent them from configuring a software blade according to the recommendation. To do this, uncheck the active field on the left of this pane. Users will then be prompted to indicate the reason why the check should be excluded and for which period of time it should be excluded. Now let's take a look at the bottom part of the screen. Here you see detailed information on the selected security best practice. On the left, you can see a description of the best practice that elaborates upon the desired configuration. Below the description, you see an action item that recommends what actions need to be taken in order to remediate the issue if it's non-compliant. In the middle, you find the scoring information, which calculates a weighted score for checked gateways. In this example, we see that the best practice checks whether the stealth rule is selected on 19 gateways. In this case, none of them are compliant, so the overall score is low. The last section on the right is the list of all of the regulatory requirements that our experts found to be relevant to this best practice and descriptions of each. Note that the mapping between best practices and regulatory requirements is many-to-many, -many, which means that every best practice is linked to many individual regulatory requirements. Additionally, each individual regulatory requirement may also be tied to several best practices. Let's review another example. In this example, we see that only 10 out of the 17 gateways are configured according to the best practice. The calculation resulted in 7 low and 10 compliant gateways, so the best practice received a medium score rather than compliant. In the lower left, you can see the recommended action item to improve compliance. It's also important to note that you can exclude a best practice from being monitored on a specific individual gateway if necessary. As you have seen, the Best Practices widget provides users with immediate insight into their current compliance position and recommendations on how to improve compliance status. Thank you for joining Checkpoint for a tour of the Best Practices widget. Stay tuned for additional Compliance Software Blade demonstrations.